Hello and welcome to today's edition of the Danielle Daily Show. I am your host, Danielle Watson. We have another more serious topic to talk about today. You know, not every single day of your life can be inspiring. I know that's certainly true for me. Not every day of my life is inspiring or happy. You know, we all have our ups and downs and and not even just over time, but within a single day, we can have times of ups and times of downs. And so I wanted to share a little bit about what's going on in my life today and kind of get some feedback from you guys on what you guys do when you're feeling down or when your heart is hurting. I do have a note to self for today. I'm really hoping that many of you will have ideas for me on what you do when you're feeling hurt. And um, let's just kind of dive in. I'm getting hearts already. Thank you so much. If you're here, let me know. Leave, um, leave, your, leave a hello in the comments or your name or just let me know what you're up to. The hearts go across the screen so quickly and they're so tiny on my phone that it's hard to see who's here if you don't let me know who you are. So say hello so I can greet you by name. So like I was saying, today's topic is another little bit more serious one. We've already had one or two of those this month. My heart is hurting today. And when my heart is hurting, I have a whole arsenal of tools and tricks that I use. But I was really curious to hear, you know, what is it that you do when you feel like things are just really weighing on you or your heart is feeling broken or you're feeling grief. I'll tell you a little bit about, you know, what what's going on, what why I'm feeling this way, why we're talking about this, and don't let me forget to give you the note to self. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit out of sorts, I will forget to do that. I always post it in the um, in the comments afterwards, but I want to make sure I remember to give it to you guys today. So so here's the deal. As you guys know, I am single, and so I'm out there doing the dating thing, and I met somebody who's really, really wonderful, and we had a wonderful time dating, and it made me so happy, but I came to the realization that it wasn't going to be forever, and so I needed to end that relationship for both of us. And you know, it's never fun to be the one who's hurt, but it's also not fun to be the one who's hurting, who's doing the, the hurting, who's doing the, the ending. And so even though I was the one who decided to end things, I am still very much hurting and very sorry for, you know, the pain that, that he's feeling and the pain that I'm feeling. But, you know, it was something that I felt like I needed to do so that we could both in the end, end up happy. It says, Elena says, Lacey and I are here. Awesome, I'm so glad you're here. Okay, Elena, I really wanna hear what it is that you do when you are feeling heartbroken. I know that you have definitely some hard times coming up and I'm curious, you know, what kind of strategies are you putting in place? So for me, when my heart is hurting, one of the things I do is I think about what is it that I could eat that would make me feel a little bit happy. And I'm in no way um, endorsing, you know, using food as as something that helps you to feel better over the long term or to binge on anything but for me pizza has a long standing association with happiness you know when you're a kid you do something great and your parents take you out for pizza or ice cream or after you're done with uh, football practice or cheer or whatever it is you know you have the pizza party or for birthdays you have pizza and so for me pizza is something that i have a lot of happy associations with and i happen to be one of those weird people i know one of those very like different species of people who likes pineapple on my pizza so today, my heart was hurting, and I wanted something that would make me feel a little bit better, something I had a positive association with. So I went and I got myself pineapple pizza for lunch, and it did help. It doesn't mean that I'm 100% healed. It doesn't mean that I still wasn't sad as I was eating my pizza. But when we're feeling down, when we're feeling sad, I think it's a really healthy thing to take a moment and think, what could I do for myself that would make me feel just a little bit better? Not all the way better, not denying your feelings, not stuffing them down, but what could I do for myself that would make me feel a little bit better? So today, one of those things was pizza. I've done some other things for myself. I'll let you know what they are, but I have another comment I want to read here. Elena says, I'm still working on figuring out what exactly to do. 
Most of the time I pick up the phone and call my mom and dad. That is a great strategy, yes, that really works. So one of the other things I did today is I went for a nice long walk with one of my best friends and we just talked about how I was feeling and she gave me the pep talk that I knew that I would give myself but it's always better coming from somebody else, you know, that it's gonna be okay, that you're both gonna be happy, that, you know, this is temporary, it's all gonna work out for the best and I know that she's absolutely right. And so pizza, talking with the best friend, and then of course texting my mom this morning and I'll be talking to her later this afternoon. You know, moms and dads sometimes are the best resource for reminding us that, we, that we're going to be okay, that life is going to move forward, and that you know, this, this pain that we feel is temporary. And something I wanted to just put in here as we're talking about this, this heartbreak and you know, feeling pain in your heart I, I think it's so interesting that we think when we feel pain in our heart that it means that something went wrong. And I think that's not true. I think that when we feel pain in our heart, it, when something ends, it means that something went right, that something was really good there. And I, I read something that my friend Linda had shared recently, and it said, um, grief is love without a home. And I just thought that was so profound because a lot of times, like I said, when we're hurting, when our heart is hurting, we think something went wrong. And I really think that when, when our heart hurts, it generally means that something went right. And it doesn't mean that it was meant to last forever, but something went right and that we cared and that it mattered to us and that we, it mattered enough to us for us to miss it. And I, I think that I'd like to have more conversations with people about that, about you know, the feeling of hurt being a sign that something went right and that that something mattered to us rather than, oh my gosh, I messed up, I, I you know, I made a mistake, something bad happened, or I, I'm not a good person or whatever it is, or that person is a jerk or whatever it is. You know, when we're feeling hurt, sometimes we get into that place where we feel like we've done something wrong or somebody's done something wrong to us, when in fact, maybe it's that something was right. And so I just wanted to put that in there. So I, like I said, I had my pineapple pizza for lunch. I had my walk. I'll be talking with my mom this afternoon. And of course, I will start putting into practice all those things that I already know to do for myself to make sure that I'm in the best frame of mind I can be. That doesn't mean that you know you deny your feelings or that you don't let people know what's going on with you, but being in the best frame of mind you can be in given what's going on around you. So I know that I'll go to yoga class tonight because that is something I know that I do to keep my body feeling good and to keep my mind focused where it needs to be. So, you know, that's how I'm feeling today. Like I said, not every day is an up day. Not every day is an inspiring day. Every day contains ups and downs and our life's our lives contain cycles, days where we feel up, days where we feel down. So today is just one of those sort of heavier days for me. My heart feels heavy. My heart feels just like, oh my goodness, something has gone wrong. But when I think about it, I know that that feeling lets me know that something went right and that, that I cared about somebody and that's a good thing. So here is today's note self. If you're watching and you want to give me any strategies, you have things that you do that help you feel a little bit better when you're hurting, I would love to have them. I think we can never have too many ways to help ourselves feel a little bit better when things are hurting. So here's today's note to self. Are you ready to write it down? You know, having the daily note to self to, to create for you guys is another thing that just keeps me moving forward and, and keeps my head where it needs to be on looking forward, on being positive. And I think that's just such an important practice. So thank you for being here. Thank you for giving me a reason to continue to write these notes. So here it is. Okay, it says, Dear self, let your heart break but also let it heal. So I think this is another important thing to think about. Let me read it one more time and then we'll talk a little bit about it. It says, Dear Self, let your heart break, but also let it heal. So whatever we're feeling, we need to allow ourselves to feel it, whether that's heartbreak or sadness or happiness, whatever it is, we need to allow ourselves to feel our feelings, to feel whatever it is we feel. And in the case of heartbreak, 
we need to allow ourselves to feel that sadness, to feel that down sort of feeling, that broken, that broken hearted feeling. It's a very unique feeling. We need to allow ourselves to feel that, but then we also need to allow ourselves to heal. We need to, at some point, decide, okay, I don't want to feel like this anymore. And that doesn't mean forever. It might be, I don't want to feel like this for 10 minutes. And so I'm going to go out, have some ice cream or go for a walk or talk to my mom or go look at birds or whatever, something that makes us happy. We need to allow ourselves to feel our heartbreak, but we also need to allow ourselves time for healing. So that might be something small. And overall, I think that we need to really get it in our heads that yes, we need to feel the heartbreak. It's okay it's natural but to make that decision inside that we are going to heal that we are going to move forward that we are going to allow that that wound to heal so that we can move forward with a bigger heart Elena says that is definitely something I have learned over time allowing yourself to feel there are worse things that come when you don't oh my goodness yes we could do a whole show on that, couldn't we? The things that happen when we don't allow ourselves to feel how we're really feeling. And I know that it seems like at this point in history, because we're all so connected to one another, we can tell when somebody isn't really expressing how it is they feel, when they're trying to deny how it is that they really feel, we can sense it. And, and it doesn't feel good. And, and nobody really likes to be around somebody who is hiding how they're really feeling. And I think that you really hit it here when you said, you know, there are worse things that come when you don't allow yourself to feel that those things come for you, bad consequences in your own life, but it also tends to drive people away from us. You know, it's funny, we don't like to let people know when we're sad or when we're hurting or when our heart is breaking or when things are not going well for us. We don't like to do it, but other people can feel it and they can sense it. And if we're not letting them know what's true for us, it can tend to drive people away. But when when we are brave enough, when we have the courage to let people know how we're feeling, it allows them to support us. It allows people to connect to us. And it gives people that wonderful feeling. How great do you feel when somebody's down and hurting and you know and you're able to reach in and help them? You're able to do something for them or you're able to send them you know, a cute little meme or you're able to give them some words of encouragement. People want that, but if we don't express that we're down or that we're sad or that we could use a little lift, then we deny people that opportunity. And I think that's the kind of connection that all of us who engage with social media are really looking for. We're looking for the opportunity to really connect with and support others, but it, that sort of gets blocked in this this desire or need for us to present, you know, a perfectly polished, shiny picture all the time. So I just want to encourage you that, you know, whatever is going on within you, whether it's heartbreak or sadness or anxiety, depression, if it's not pretty, to go ahead and find a way to express it anyways. Even if you don't express it through social media, maybe you don't have the most supportive community around you, express it to somebody you know who cares about you so that they can connect with you, so they can have the satisfaction of helping you, and so you can receive the support that you need. I can't tell you how invaluable it has been to receive all the virtual hugs and support and, and words of encouragement that I've been receiving today in my feed. It's it's. It's made everything at least 10% lighter, which for me is huge. Elena says, I was just about to say that. I know when I vent to Derek and he is able to make me laugh and smile, he fe feels amazing as well. Yeah, so sometimes our pain can actually, like you said, become the reason that somebody else smiles. And when we are the reason that somebody else smiles, even if it's because of our pain, it makes us feel awesome. And it just takes us that one step closer to feeling better, which was the whole point of today's note. So I'll read you to the note one more time, just in case you joined late or you forgot to write it down. It says, dear self, let your heart break, but also let it heal. So I just encourage you where, wherever you're at today, give people the opportunity to support you. Let yourself feel what you feel, 
but also put things in place that will help you to heal because that's where we all want to be, right? We all want to be in our happy place. We all want to be feeling good. And, you know, thank you so much for, for supporting, for sending love, for sending hugs, for sending hearts. Thank you. I love those. I love those so much. They make me feel so good. So like I said, you know, today is not my most upbeat, inspiring, awesome, raw, raw day, but I'm, I'm really grateful for you guys for sending so much love to me to help me get to that, that healing piece. All right. So I will see you back here again tomorrow at the same time. Remember the Danielle Daily Show happens weekdays at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 12 Pacific. If you need anything from me, especially right now, because I could totally use a distraction. <laughs> I could use, you know, thinking about other people's problems instead of my own. Please feel free to message me. Feel free to leave me a comment. Feel free to email me if you're part of my tribe and you receive emails from me. I would love to answer your questions or address, you know, whatever's going on with you or share with you something from my experience if, if that's what you need. Elena says, great topic and note to self. Hope your heart starts to heal. You'll be in my prayers. Thank you. Thank you. I love knowing that I'll be in your prayers. All right. I love you guys so much. I will see you back here tomorrow. Again, thank you for everything. Thank you for sharing the show. Thank you for being here. And I can't wait to see you then. All right. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.